The year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraf himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of Black Ops mercenaries stormed into Seraph headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end, military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarif's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Sarif Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation. They claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarif's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarif sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Sarif ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Sarif's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the Og's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett, even got him to give me a new lead, a penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengshou wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengshou before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the Triads, anxious organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru, president of the Tai Young Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. 
I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPOs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, and turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan, Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before, Fedorova, a woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Pikus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Pikus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities. The UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering anxious airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into the lower The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. 
Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a bell tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who'd put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. The little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Sarah had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. 
For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the gin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the gin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not going to like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine, just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage us drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to... Thank you. 
blockers at the far end of the penthouses, and keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jen have got a few Jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. Leave me. Colors and shapes. Just remember.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I'll do another sweep in the area, just to make sure. Let me get out of here.
enchanted. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy.
down to the signal booster already? Oh, I can, uh, not in the sense of the Buddha. It's good. 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 Pretty, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone. That was fast. We installed the signal booster already. Oh, How you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's tilled a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, that rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. Parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that.
Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Sing any second. Khalil, the guy who's going to tell us about the things is coming soon. Go and tell the people that I'm going to kill you. وخليكم يعني منتظرين. Patches clean. Solid copy. Good. I'll read patches once the deal kicks off. Must have been the wind. Having a hard time breathing. بكره العواصف. بترزع الشبابيك وتقفلهم. Inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. Well, hurry the fuck up. Enemy helos inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Negative. Didn't find it. Well, you better hope Singh's cover stays intact. Otherwise, you'll be answering to me. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Jensen. Penthouse access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, brown nose. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you, shut up. Five in position. Everybody, stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Target's in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh? Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. I'll be the call. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash, quick, and we'll... Oh, what the...? Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jin. Repeat, it's not the Jin. <laughs> They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our- Agreed. Let me get a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! 
I got it. This is bad! They're closing in! We're gonna lose Singh! Jensen, I can't reach him! Oh. Jensen, this sandstorm might have just bought us some time, but you need to disable that chopper. Copy that. Chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome. Shit. Size computers. Human controlled evolution available to all. We will merge with machines. With when this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you. No, stop! And plan. Scenes of horror on the streets of Detroit. The madness has gripped mechanically augmented people. Shanghai, Los Angeles, Ankara, Dubai. People are dying out there. Millions of people. Search for survivors in Pangea has been downgraded to a recovery mission. The Czech Republic leads a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. It's a new world, Adam. It's afraid of people like us. Fast and safe and secure. Sarah Industries closed its doors. You didn't think it would end with the AUG incident, did you? We were victims. This is retribution for a tragedy we could not control. They buried the truth of the disinformation. Possible detonations. Looks like car bombs. Another terrorist attack, this time in a police station. The United Nations Security Council has passed. A new anti terrorist intelligence and response team will have one task force 29. 29. 
Agent Jensen. I won't let it happen again. What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. The sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany him. You may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence Anyone opposed? Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. You know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. I'll secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Jaina's won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. Page, activate the sleep cell. Konečná stanice, růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. We could have gone with Sweetie. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. 
Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prag team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. A hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. The task force is an Illuminati front, like we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Make a scene. Eh? Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we can do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? The hell with that. I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSN? The neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's motherboard.
<clears throat> Hold on. Sore, but uh, be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or what? No, 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 I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning. Adam, you have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon. Saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Serif. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? 
Gods, jeez, Adam. I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years to both of us. You've obviously landed on your feet, though. Unlike a lot of other people. I've been lucky. I almost died in Panchea waiting for the rescue teams to dig me out. And I lost a lot of time after recovering from my injuries. You went back to Detroit, you saw what happened to Seraph Industries. I gotta look at it, briefly. Humanity was afraid of the potential we offered, and they lashed out. Broke into the building, stole what they could, and burned the rest. Vultures and Thai young medical gobbled up what was left. Sometimes a dream has to die so a new one can rise from the ashes. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to VersaLife. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. You've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, 
I need to pay you a visit. Jensen, now's actually a really good time for me, like right now. Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Access granted. to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my Augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now it's actually a hit. for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Straight is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. 
All businesses are temporarily closed. It's distant. Are you sure? Don't forget about your permit authentication. <laughs> Doc Larry! Doc Larry! Show me latest papers. Otherwise you cannot go through them. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All OGs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? Clear it up with the people I work for. They'll take care of it. And who do you work for exactly? Does it matter? You worried I might outrank you? <laughs> of course not. These rules, they apply to everyone. Besides, I am regional director of uh, uh, document checking. I report to God directly. It is God who tells me that if you continue this way, without proper permit, I am morally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your kind. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? Lucky for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards. Peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want. No more hassles. What do you say? This document agent you mentioned, you see the one in charge? He gets you to stop Oggs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. My friend has documents to pass checkpoints, to keep police off your bank, to get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahumir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. Shekashka. There is a courtyard behind the apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask questions. We got this. You're looking for permit. This area is restricted to you, Bob. Get out of here, Clay. You're looking for permit.
fucking washes the uniform this time. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Augs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Augs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me, the girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work. Puts more effort in than we ask her. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer, and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances without the papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. you if I have to. shares in the tank. Turn it around, asshole. <laughs> Are you scared? You think maybe we have exhausted this plan? Lift 
Rahumir will set up a second checkpoint. Something is here. Pushing our luck with a checkpoint. <sighs> Going to need to think of something else. There's nothing. Next time, we'll find something. Initiated. 
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I hope you're not that broad, because you don't look at all like the picture. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? I think you work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... which always just makes things worse. Okay, look, I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys, not like Drahomir. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials, right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. The government, they print up these official permits each month, but they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Whatever your intentions here, you're part of a criminal operation. So that's what the shady types were all about? Gee, thanks for pointing that out. The gun in my face wasn't a clear enough indication. The city cracking down on forgeries and my friends all getting deported anyway. That was all part of my master plan here. When things got out of hand, obviously I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahomir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, 
or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of. Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people, if you're willing. All right, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times, but maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Yurenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. Remember the Cold War and how we sat on the brink of destruction minute by minute? How we hated the commies and the commies hated us? How they had a way of life that we couldn't fucking... Only a matter of time before they swarm on us with their Pushing our luck with a check.
that bombing was bad for business. You looking for Burnley? She's lying. I know it. Because Dragomir looks like a cop, doesn't mean he's a real cop. He showed me his credentials. 